Yo. Good evening. I'm reviewing <clears throat> a flavor that I love, but for some reason I have never reviewed. Um, so I guess you already know my star rating. Or you can guess. Starbucks pumpkin pie. Figured it's a really good time of year to do this one, as it's the what is today, 29th of October. Oh look, by the way, free shirt. Yep, little well, JM's free shirt. I didn't wear it on purpose for this video. I swear, I've been wearing it all day. Um, this flavor smells spot on, fresh. Made by mom pumpkin pie. This tin, for some reason, seems a lot leafier, like Fantasia style cut than Starbuzz. They pick apart a lot. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's uh, really, really out there as far as thickness. I've had to rip a few bits apart to get it to, um, you know, not jam up the airflow. Um, doesn't take away from the flavor, though. I'll tell you that. Um, there's not nine billion, you know, uh, tree trunk stems in there that drive you up a friggin' wall. Huge white clouds, typical of uh, Starbuzz. Um, flavor is, you could either say, one of two things, exactly pumpkin pie, you know, or if um, you've ever had a thing that's like vanilla, chai, something, it's not a latte, at a Starbucks tastes a lot like that too. The spices are just right unless it's sweet. Um, don't get a, a lot of the crust, but it's like straight up pumpkin pie filling flavor. Um, it's sick. I love it. Um, I don't smoke it super often just because it's like just one of those ones that you're not like pumpkin pie every day. I feel like smoking, you know, eating a pumpkin piece of pumpkin pie every morning. You know, blueberries, fine fruit, coffee flavors. Um, I'm trying to think, you know, drink mix ones you can get away with, but <clears throat> pumpkin pie is one of those like occasionals, even though it kicks ass. Um, it's it's not an everyday, but I'm gonna give it like a nine seven. It could be a little bit sweeter, just a touch, um, and it's, it might just be because I haven't smoked it in a while and I didn't bag it when I opened the tin. I should have bagged it. It's sort of losing um, a little bit of its moisture. Um, not as bad as my last tin of Star Buzz that um, wasn't sealed as well that I didn't bag. Whoops, kind of ruined that. Luckily, it was towards the end of it. Um, this is worth picking up. 100 percent get a 250 if you like pumpkin pie get a 250 um, it was recommended to me by renee at customer service at hookashisha.com um, and i am a huge fan of this flavor um, eternally grateful for her making me pick that because um, i sort of had to pick an extra one to get uh, whatever coupon code i was attempting to use at that point i'm gonna pull a couple more uh clouds off this and call it a night. There's not much more to say than, you know, close to sheer perfection on this flavor. I love this stuff and it burns forever too. I'll definitely go second round of coals. And that's with actually shisha coats, because I'm running low on coconars. And um, financial situation is crap right now. I'm waiting for a set of wheels that I have for sale to sell before I make my next order. I'm not going to spend $9 on shipping for, you know, $15 box of coals. That just seems a little ludicrous. Um, if anybody wants to trade out uh, coconars for some flavors, please get in touch with me. Um, it's making me sad in the pants that I only have like 16 coconuts left and I have a huge box of shisha co. The um, powdery ash kind of gets on my nerves and the lack of heat. 
um, doesn't help me very much. Finishing bowls or getting clouds or anything else for that matter doesn't seem to be that bad on this, so I'll tolerate, luckily. Uh, I'll leave you with a couple of clouds and, you know, open for discussion after that point.